Hi guys, and welcome to the next installment of my makeup inventory. Today we're gonna do duos, trios, and quads for my eyeshadow. Um, this is a category that I'm definitely more focused on this year, and we're making progress. So um, for this category in 2015, I had 12, 2016 and 17, I had 20, and now I have 18. So I did already use up to this year. If you're not watching my pan that palette, definitely check it out. Um, one of my, like my current pan that palette is in this category. So like I said, definitely check out my pan that palette if you have not, because it explains a little bit why I'm working on so many of these. So we're just going to jump in and get started. I'm really excited as I looked over these because a lot of these are neutral. I have a few that have like some color, which is fine, but, um, a lot of these are neutral, which I'm really excited about. The first one is the e.l.f. Eye Transformer. And I've used this and I've hit pan on almost all the colors. These colors I don't use as like a whole palette, um, which is interesting because I really like this category. It's probably my favorite just because they're easy to use together. Um, but this is a palette I don't use by itself. I use these for highlighting shades when I've ran out um, of my like pan that palette in the past right now I'm working on a single um, a wet and wild sugar it was in my singles eyeshadows that was last week so definitely check that out um, but this is one that I've reached for many times as a highlighting shade um, highlighting shades so this is like I said the only one I think that I won't use just by itself all the other ones I can just use by itself we're just going to reach for these randomly. They're like in a pile right here. So this is one by Coastal Scents and it's in Stylize. It has two like little samplers. It is in, does it say? No, but it's just a shimmery like kind of bronzy purple shade and then a highlighting shade. So um, this won't take very long to use up but I just haven't yet. So it is in my Pan That Palette options. So um, this could be used up, but that's what it looks like. I'm really excited about this. Um, one that I don't know where it's from is this um, champagne and like white um, eyeshadow. A friend gave it to me and I'm not sure it doesn't have any writing on it. Um, but I love the colors and I think they'll be perfect. So they just look like this. Um, they might need another like, like crease shade or something like that. Um, I haven't worn these on my, on my eyes yet, but I just like the colors and how neutral and natural they are. The next one is kind of similar to that, but this one would need a lid shade. I like I could. I typically use a three eyeshadows. I use like a lid shade, a crease shade, and highlighting shade. That's kind of my typical eye look. Um, and so duos, I usually have to add one. I don't always have to because I don't have to have a crease shade. I don't have to have a highlighting shade. I don't have to have a lid shade, but I typically do. Um, and so this is one that has more of a highlighting shade and a crease shade. This one is a little more shimmery, which I don't usually use a crease shade, so I'll have to see. Um, so I could possibly use a lid shade with this. I could definitely get away with this by itself. Sorry, that was a brush that was useless in it. Um, but this is a Rimmel, the duo eyeshadow in, does it say desert? So it just looks like this. So like I said, I definitely could use another one with that. I think those were all the duos. I'm trying to kind of maybe do duos and trios than quads. Um, so sorry if I go back to a duo. This is not a trio. Um, this is one that could go in the single eyeshadows or um, like the duos, trios, and quads. Um, just because it is just like one palette. It's the Revlon Make a Sheen in Espresso Yourself. It looks like this. I'm going to try. I, I haven't used this um, very much. If you were in my pan that palette, you've seen this recently. Um... But my plan is to use this as a highlighting shade, this as a lid shade, and this as a crease shade. My plan is to use it as three different shades. That's why I did put it in here. Um, but as I use it, I might just like mix them all together and then that be the lid shade. So it very well could end up being a one shadow or a three shadow or even like a two shadow. Um, so we'll see as I use this. I haven't yet. Yeah, obviously, you can see that it's like not been touched. Um, 
but this is one that's why it's in the trios um because i plan on using it as three different but we'll see as i get lazy or you know it just doesn't work out um if it becomes more of a single eyeshadow um if you watch my single eyeshadow there was one that was similar to this but i said i was going to swirl it all together so we'll see um another trio i have is a smash smash box trio in filter highlighting shade crease shade lid shade done love it it is very small <laughs> i got it as a sample in a birch box and i really like it when i've used it um, but i was again working on other eyeshadows so i didn't focus on this because i probably could have used that up pretty quickly another sample that i got in my birch box i don't get birch box anymore i always have linked down below why i got rid of it um but i don't get birch box anymore just if you're curious um this is my pop beauty trio in peach parfait again i got this as a sample and i loved these colors this is like the only like color besides like browns is this like peachy shade that i really enjoy on my eyes so um there's that i think the last no i have two more trios yeah um this is also from birchbox it was again a pop beauty um this is in sugar plum I did like these. The purple is this one that they're not my favorite on my eyes, but they're definitely not one that I'm like, oh, I hate purple on my eyes. I'm wearing purple on my eyes now. I'm doing Pan That Palette. You'll see in a second. That is all purple. Um, but it's definitely one that I can play with, but um, I'm definitely more of a copper brown taupey shade. Um, but I will be using this because I do, like I said, it's not that they're terrible. They're just... I'm really trying to figure out what I like. That's that's my point. And that's my goal as I was working through these. The only other trio that I have is in this My Z palette. It's really a like, um, it's for needles, for sewing. Um, but it's these three right here. It just looks like that. They were in a palette that had lip products if you've been watching for some time. Um, but here are these three. I love them. They're so pigmented like. so pigmented like you can see them over all the other nasty swatches i have on my hand so um yeah i love those three if you want to know what these two are they were in my single eyeshadows and these two are in my project pan so definitely check those videos out if you want to if you're curious what all is in here um now we are to quads we'll start with my project pan the one that's on my eyes and it's the avon in purple haze <sighs> So it just looks like this. This is what's on my eyes today. Um, this is my highlighting shade. I, I mix these two for a lid shade. I mix these two for a crease shade. Um, so I did have to scrape a little bit of off of these three. So that's why they look a little funny. Just because they weren't very pigmented. And then I scraped it off. Um, and I don't know if it was hard pan or just like it's old. So, um, but I scraped it off and now they're like super pigmented. So, um. That was exciting. The next one is a Revlon Color Stay in Siren. Again, it has a more purple tone, but they are more neutral. So it looks like this. I really, really, really like these a lot. I think this is a perfect like winter palette for me. This other Revlon one in Adventurous is definitely a fall palette. Again, it has that gorgeous copper, which I love. Green is another color. This green is okay. I wouldn't want like a bright green if you watch my single eyeshadows. Um, but yeah, I do like this palette. I haven't gotten to play with it too much. Because um, a lot of, when I was getting into makeup, I was also trying to use stuff up very shortly after that. Like when I, I accumulated a bunch and I was like, what the heck did I just do? And so I got more into project painting. And so I didn't get to focus on a lot of the makeup that I had purchased. And luckily palettes and eyeshadows don't matter as much because powder can last quite a long time. So at least, you know, my obsession with eyeshadow, I can still use it. Um, the next two are from my sister. They're both, or my sister-in-law. They're both from CoverGirl. Um, one is in a blue package and one is in a brown package. Again, if you watch my Pan That Palette, you would have seen these already. Um, they're similar. The blue one has a little bit more of a blue tint or like purple tint. And then the brown, the brown one's more neutral. But they both just say CoverGirl. And so I just have blue, pack, blue packaging and like 
black packaging or gray packaging or something written down on my inventory. But I like these colors. I'm excited to use them. I'm excited to use a lot of these, to be honest with you. If I wasn't excited to use them, I would get rid of them. So I'm excited to use all of them. Then I have one Wet n Wild Trio in Walking on Eggshells. This is one that I will take on trips just because it's really simple. I use this as a lid, crease, and highlight. Um, so I just use this a lot of times on trips to be completely honest because unless I'm doing something I need, like intense makeup, which is never, um, I just wear this and it just, it, it, it gets the job done and it's so tiny that it's lovely lovely pigmentation staying powder powers pretty well pretty good um it's not super like in your face but it is pretty good i have three left and they're all from ulta i got them in a sample bag um this one is in smoky they're all open but i don't know if there we go this one's in smoky this is probably the one I'm least excited about, to be honest. We'll have to see as I wear it, if I like it. Um, a lot of times blacks, I just don't use to be, I like crush them up. I'm like, that was pointless. Um, this one I really like. This is in Romantic, because even though it does have that purple, they're more of a neutral purple instead of in your face purple. So I like this, this is in Romantic. And then the very last one is my favorite, and this is in natural. Looks like this. You can pop them out. So I might end up popping them out and putting them in my, might end up pop, popping them out and putting them in my like Z palette thing. We'll have to see, but that one kind of came undone. So that's why it's in there right now. But there's the natural one. So, I really like these. Um, I love this category. This is probably my favorite category because it's not, when I pick up a palette, it's not overwhelming. Sometimes my bigger palettes, I feel like just overwhelmed by them. But I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you all later. Stay tuned for my larger palettes than quads because I have quite a few of those too. <sighs> like I said, eyeshadow is my weakness and so are lip products. So like the next two like major categories, I have a lot of weaknesses. Luckily, I've been doing okay with my low buy, no buy situation.